So you know Modix doesn't provide the instruction manuals to the $20,000 printer that you just had delivered? Luckily, luckily, I've got a copy of the instructions right here. Now, it's super professional, definitely has no spelling errors or contradicting images with the wordings. It's a easy read. Anybody can read this thing. You know, I've had Legos that have had better instructions and they don't even use words. Now, I want to show you the finished big meter. Wait a minute. That looks nothing like the Modex big meter. Am I missing something? Welcome back everybody. Today's video is another one in the Modex Big Meter build. So if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and you won't miss my journey as I build this massive 3D printer. As promised from the last video, we would get into the electronics in this one. But if you remember, I had a few more panels to put on the exterior of the printer to really close that build volume up and give it that $20,000 printer look. There was a canopy to add with separate acrylic sheets. Plus, with this kind of money, you get French doors. With all the doors and acrylic pieces on the printer, you get a finished look and a build volume completely enclosed. Now, with any projects involving electronics, you don't just simply turn on the printer and start to 3D print. That would be too easy. The controller is a Duet 2 with an expansion board and one of the main advantages for these boards is the onboard Wi-Fi modular. This is a major selling feature for these Duet boards and they also do a really good job of having a lot of documentation online. The display is the Duet 3D Panel Do and for the big meter, connects using a single wire over the 10 prong wire. So in short, you're not going to have an SD card reader on the panel, but you have the Wi-Fi modular on the board to make up for this. You can use the web interface or the controller to run the setup macros but there are a lot to run like to test the basic functions of the printer like turning on a fan heating the hot end and homing and there are more advanced macros which include tilt adjustment setting the z probe height setting the bed compensation adjustment the bed tilt should tell me how level my bed is by using the Z-Probe on each corner and if I'm within an acceptable tolerance. The bed compensation macro will probe more than 100 points on the bed to provide a height map of the entire print surface and the printer can make adjustments within a print. Plus, I had issues connecting to the network, wires which blocked the end stops, and there's a corner on the big meter where every wire on this thing meets and there's not enough space. You really have to tie down the wires with a ton of zip ties, so don't be afraid there. 
The way the end stops are mounted on the X and Y axis, you have very little clearance. And any wire not tied down, your axis is not homing. Both of the extruders, E9 and E1, have separate homing end stops and stepper motors, which is nice because that makes the Y axis self aligning. So, after all this calibration, does the printer, you know, actually print well? Get your spectral sock out, nerds. It's gonna get good. So overall impressions with the printing is that the prints are fine. They haven't really blown me away with the quality. And to be honest, some of my desktop printers can provide a better quality if I printed the same part. The build volume on the Modix is the advantage here, but there's still some adjustments in Cura that need to be done on the provided slicer profiles for the big meter. They're definitely a work in progress and not final settings. I've noticed they have some weird settings used for retractions and supports that just aren't finished or final yet. So I'm currently waiting on Modix to provide the calibration tool so that we can use the second extruder. So I can't run that one in this video. So maybe next time we'll get to see some dual extruder action. I know, you're gonna have to wait. That's gonna be very hard on the audience. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a future video on the Modix large scale 3D printer. I hope you had a laugh, enjoyed the content, leave a like and a comment below. Check out my links which are listed in the description of this video. I hope your 3D printing is awesome and I'll see you all in the next episode.